Well, let's see here. Probably have 130 varieties of cut flowers, 20 varieties of peppers, eight varieties of onions. But at Fat Turnip Farms in Kingston, Brian Custer is growing more than food and flowers. He's also growing farmers. Because I believe we need a future generation of farmers and we're not creating very many of them right now. So this place seems to be a real big part of that. The farm started up in 2019 with the motto, teach the children. Yeah, that's a 72 pounder. We want to teach them everything from how to be physically strong, emotionally strong, spiritually strong, to be able to handle the work and the pounding that farms take. Because there's really quite a disconnect between what lands on someone's table and everything that it took to get there. Sophie Porter has been here since day one. At age 17, she began managing the 14 acre farm. Overseeing a crew mostly made up of younger cousins. I love it. When the winter, you gotta plan for the coming year. You gotta plant everything in the field and then come harvest time, that's my favorite. Bringing in everything. So it's gonna be $20 even. Sophie's cousin, Lizzie Strickland, works mostly behind the counter, but also sells bouquets of flowers she's made herself. It's kind of like a dream come true. I've always wanted to work on a farm, and then Brian's like this happy little guy. We often joke we call it farming and not banking because you can't count on anything. This is called yarrow, and it comes in the yellow. Well, for $5, you can count on picking your own bouquet of flowers. Isn't that so gorgeous? Oh, can't wait beautiful. to get these home. <laughs> Months ago, all of this was a wet, empty field. Now look, they got all this fruit on them, and you know, start reaping what you sow. Ryan is also reaping what he sows. His girls wear knives on their hips, their fingernails are dirty, and yes, they do sweat. Anything that teaches you how to get up and work hard all day, when you feel like it and when you don't feel like it, then it's a huge benefit later in life. And young people need more opportunities like that. And young people also need rewards. So on summer days, a little bit of sweetener for me. The girls of Fat Turnip Farms Oops. It always comes out too fast. Anybody else? Celebrate a hot day in the fields with snow cones. <laughs> Cheers to Fat Turnip Farms!